Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today we're going to do a really quick video how to brew a pot of coffee with the Keurig K-Duo. So this is a really nice coffee maker, but it's also a K-Cup. But if you want to make a real quick pot of coffee, I'm going to show you how to do it. So make sure you've got your machine filled up to the 12 mark if you want to do a 12 cup. Now this one will do anywhere from 12, 10, or 8. So depending on where you want it, you know, 8, 10, or 12. We're going to do a full 12 cup today. So you've got the filter basket on this side. And I pull it all the way out. So this coffee maker is a pretty standard coffee maker. It takes basket. And it doesn't come with them. You need 8 to 12 cup basket style coffee filters. So we're going to get a coffee filter. We're going to put it in here. Kind of make sure it's hugging the walls. Now the manual says it takes one tablespoon of coffee grounds per cup that you're going to brew. Since I'm doing 12 cups, I'm going to put 12 tablespoons in. Got my helper Fiona. So here's one, two. Okay, so I've got 12 tablespoons of coffee in there. Where are you going, Fiona? Okay, so I've got 12 tablespoons of coffee in there. Now we're ready to put it back. Now this is this is the little tricky part. Finding that little groove can be kind of tricky. And if the filter basket isn't quite um, in there correctly, you're not going to be able to, be able to slide it back. So if everything's correct, it should just slide back. Don't force it. And then make sure it snaps. There is that little snap you do need to see. Okay, so I've got the machine plugged in. There really is no on-off switch. you just got these two buttons. So this is for the K-cup side, and this is for the coffee pot side. And if you read the direction, you're going to press that button and whatever size. So let's say I just wanted to do 10. I would have just done 10 tablespoons of coffee in there. Or 8. I would have done 8. Or if you like it stronger, you can do it anywhere in between. It's, it, that's the nice thing about this. So I'm just going to hit this, this button. And, and 12 and now that pumps gonna start working the water is gonna start going down back here it's gonna heat it up and it's gonna start brewing the pot of coffee I'm gonna let you know how long it takes okay so it's really making some noise heating up the water so you see how this light is green right now it's gonna be green the entire time it's brewing when it's done brewing it's gonna turn to red that means that the warming plate's on. So this does have a warming plate. It's going to keep your coffee nice and hot. If you forget to turn it off by hitting this switch again, it's going to turn that warming plate off after two hours. Okay, so it's been about two minutes, and we're starting to get coffee to come out. You can kind of hear a pump kick on a little bit. And it's starting to brew the coffee. So this is pretty typical of coffee pots. It, it does have a plunger, so you can. it's called pause brewing. I can take this out. And I can grab a quick cup of coffee. I can pour me a quick cup of coffee. And then when I put this in, there's going to be, that'll push that plunger back up. And then it'll continue the brewing process. Okay, so in 10 minutes, your pot of coffee is done. This changed to red, which means the uh, warming plate's going to stay on. And this will shut off automatically after two hours. But if you want to shut it off yourself, you just got to press and hold it till the light goes out. Okay, so here we've got our full coffee pot of coffee. And it's ready to serve. This actually does make a really good pot of coffee. Let's check temperature. Yeah, that's a really nice, that's that's standard for a coffee cup. Let's check and see how the filter grounds did. Yeah. These Keurigs, this dual brew does a really good job with, with the coffee grounds. There's no signs of them overflowing whatsoever does kind of just brew it kind of in the middle a little bit, but everything's kind of nice and saturated. Yeah, you move around in there, yeah, it's all good. So I just wanted to do a really simple video on how to brew a pot of coffee with this Keurig K-Duo. I really like this K-Duo, and I'm gonna be doing some other videos with it. I've got a detailed video. I've got a video on how to descale it, how to clean it with vinegar, and how to clean it with um, the Keurig. A descaling solution so if you could check out those videos but this one was just if you've got your Keurig and you want to make a pot of coffee this is how you do it and it makes a really good pot of coffee if you could please like and subscribe and thank you for watching